Okay, we're aboard a 80-foot azimuth, and we are cleaning the heat exchangers with Hammerhead Bright Bay Descaler. We have a circulation bucket here with a March submersible pump circulating the descaling solution through the motors. As you can see, I started on the back of this caterpillar, and it comes out to the top left hand side and then out the bottom and it's traveling back over here to the back side of this other caterpillar engine and it goes in through that line behind the air filter comes out through here and then it goes in through there and then out the heat exchanger and then it comes across to the top side and out through that pipe into the Caterpillar intercooler and then it comes back out this white pipe down that line and then it recycles back into the five gallon pail. Now when the solution first starts it foams up quite a bit so you got to be careful it doesn't overflow out of the bucket. So I keep a small painter's pail handy there and I scoop out the foam and put it in there but after a while it starts to settle down as you can see and as that happens the fluid level starts to lower so you add your coolant back into the pail to bring it back up because as the cleaning solution goes on it stops foaming and the foam stops taking up space and therefore the fluid goes down in the bucket So now we'll let this cycle through these two engines. I'm cleaning two heat exchanges on these caterpillars. As you can see that the sink that was in this pipe right here, I have a bleeder valve here to bleed the air off. It's time to change those zincs. Same with this zinc over here. Okay, that was in over there and that's where that bleeder pipe, that's where that zinc went. So this will circulate for about three, four hours now and it's back flushing. You want to reverse the flow so that anything that's trapped up in this intercooler here gets flushed out this way. You don't want to go in the original way because you're just going to be pushing seaweed and impeller and blades and stuff like that. And as you can see, everything is flowing. Goes into that engine and then comes out goes back into this bucket and you can see my level starting to go down and then as you can see it's starting to foam up a little bit so you got to keep an eye on that so in about three to four hours these engine heat exchangers will be clean not only am I cleaning the main engine heat exchanger but I'm cleaning the top intercooler as well without removing them from the engine which is a very costly job somewhere in the vicinity of about $5,000 between the two engines if you had the manufacturer rep come out and service these motors. So we'll stop for now and then we'll check back later and see how things are progressing.